Why is Manny Pacquiao so popular in the Philippines? As a child in the Philippines, Manny Pacquiao's family was so poor that he had to drop out of school. At age 14, he moved to Manila in hopes of making enough money to support his mother and five siblings. He spent time living on the streets, but eventually found his way onto the Philippine national amateur boxing team. In this video, we delve into what makes the sporting legend Manny Pacquiao an icon to not only boxing and sport, but to the Philippines itself. If this is your first time on the channel, or you have returned and enjoy the content, then please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss out on upcoming videos and resources. Pac-Man, as called by most of his fans, has racked up 10 world boxing titles, was named Box of the Decade by the World Boxing Council, and even entered politics, having won the election to the Philippines House of Representatives in 2010 and 2013. But in his still impoverished home province of Sarangani, he's known as much for his generosity and willingness to help virtually anyone who asks. Over the years, he's given a large amount of his boxing fortune to student scholarships, farming equipment for the poor, churches, hospital, disaster relief, environmental causes, and many international charities. Manny has also become a major figurehead in the fight against human trafficking, using his stature, political power and finances to help combat the practice in the Philippines. Manny Pacquiao has literally changed the face of boxing and challenged the perceptions of Asians to the world. Manny Pacquiao's philanthropy has become so vast that his friend and boxing legend Sugar Ray Leonard warned him to be careful about being too overly generous in case he has nothing left to show for all the years of toil. After earning upwards of $120 million in his fight with American Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao's promoter said, I believe half of what Manny earns in this fight will be going to charity. That is just Manny. It is said that Manny Pacquiao's story begins as a stowaway on a boat bound for Manila, determined to pursue his dream of becoming a boxer and fighting to free his family from abject poverty. To millions of people around the world, Manny's story validates their own determination to work hard and overcome any obstacles they may encounter. Manny has said that he continues to fight because of his love for the sport, but also because of how much joy it brings to others. Manny has always done everything he can to give back and fight for the less fortunate. He has devoted himself to public service and donated more than one third of his career earnings to charity. It is his goal to be an instrument of hope and change around the world. Even those who do not follow boxing cannot help but be inspired by a man whose humility and heart for people transcend the world of sport. Pacquiao, known as the people's champion in his native Philippines, has given away about $200 million on projects to help the less fortunate. Every income I receive in boxing, almost half of it goes to the less fortunate, Pacquiao was quoted. Heroes are made, not born. And only a few Filipinos can exemplify this quote better than Manny Pacquiao. He is the Philippines' primary source of pride and inspiration. Pacquiao is no ordinary man. From an impoverished life in southern Philippines, he has fought his way to the top, emerging as first and only eight-division world champion with ten world titles to his credit. Thanks to his achievements, Manny Pacquiao has gained fans from all around the world, with some experts describing him as maybe history's finest boxer, even greater than the legendary Sugar Ray Robinson. But what makes Manny Pacquiao one of a kind? What are the forces within that have pushed him to excel in boxing? Here are some little known facts that have defined him and made him the great fighter and man he is today. As a child, Manny Pacquiao wanted to become a Catholic priest However, poverty got in the way, so he pursued boxing instead. Contrary to popular belief, his nickname, Pac-Man, was not based on the arcade game of the same name. Rather, it is the combination of the first syllables of his first name, Man from Manny, and his last name, Pac from Pacquiao. His other nicknames include the People's Champion, the Destroyer, the Nation's Fist, the Fighting Congressman, and the Filipino Slugger. Manny was born in a poor and isolated town of Kabawi in Bukidnon, Philippines. 
When he turned two, his family moved to an even more isolated place called Tango in Saragani province where they lived in a small one-room hut. In Tango, the young Manny had to climb the mountain several times a week to search for food and fresh water. In his autobiography, Manny says that this experience helped him develop his strong calves. He adds that there isn't a machine in any modern gym that compares to the trek through the wilderness of his childhood. As a child, Manny was awestruck by Bruce Lee's speed and agility after watching his movies for the first time. Inspired by what he saw, Manny started to imitate Bruce Lee's moves by punching and kicking a large banana tree near their house. Growing up, exposed to the realities of poverty and hunger, Manny's first dream he remembered as a child was that of a table overflowing with food with his family smiling as they ate to their heart's delight. When he was about six or seven years old, Manny got his first job as an assistant to a very old fisherman. For his efforts, he was given a share of the catch. He kept two for his family and sold the rest for 50 pesos per piece. This experience, according to him, also helped build a lot of his upper body strength, which proved to be useful later in his career as a boxer. When he was seven, Manny witnessed a cockfight for the very first time. The Roosters taught him the importance of persistence and being quick on your feet, two qualities that would later become part of his technique. At the age of 13, Manny became a one-man travelling grocery store, selling various goods ranging from bread and peanuts to water and donuts in the hot streets of General Santos. In 1990, Manny had his first encounter with professional boxing when he watched with his uncle Sado the epic battle between James Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson in Tokyo, a fight in which Tyson got knocked out. When he left General Santos City for Manila, he didn't tell anyone from his family in case they wouldn't let him go. At that time, he had no money, so he had to stow away on a boat just to get to the capital. His first job in Manila was scraping off rust at a local metal yard. On days when he was out of work and he had nothing to eat, Manny would go to restaurants in Manila where he would wash the dishes or clean the kitchen in exchange for food. It was also in Manila when he met Ben Delgado, owner of a gym in Sampaloc. Delgado agreed to train Manny and even allowed him to stay in a very small room inside the gym. Manny started his professional boxing career in a local boxing show on TV called Blow by Blow where he would be paid only $2 per fight. To qualify for Blow by Blow, Manny had to lie about his age. He was only 16 and weighed less than the required 100 pounds at the time. He told the producers he was already 18 and he put steel ball bearings in his pockets during the weigh-in to help him meet the required weight. For Manny, the secret to his success lies in the system he calls the Power 3. Number 1, your goals. Number 2, a system to reach those goals. And number three, discipline to main your system until you reach your goals. Aside from giving back to the Philippines, Manny is also an active participant supporter of various US-based advocacy groups. In fact, he once planted trees in America to show his support for the fight against global warming. As a philanthropist, he donates one million pesos to a hospital in General Santos every time he has a fight. One of his beneficiaries, a man who had a successful kidney transplant, volunteered to campaign for him during the elections so that people would know about his good deeds. However, Manny politely refused the offer, saying that his philanthropic work is separate from his political career. When he won a rematch against Juan Manuel Marquez in 2008, Manny won the WBC and the Ring World Super Featherweight belts making him the first Filipino to win three world titles for major sanctioning bodies in three different weight divisions. He was a former WBC World Flyweight Champion as well as a former IBF World Super Bantamweight Champion. Manny left the Catholic Church for Evangelical Christianity. In one of his interviews he said, I found the right way, salvation, I was born again. He built a two-story church in General Santos City in the Philippines. In 2008, Manny became the first Filipino Olympic non-participant to become the Team Philippines flag bearer during the opening ceremony of the Summer Olympics at Beijing National Stadium. His opportunity came after President Arroyo's request to national sports officials to have Manny replace swimmer Miguel Molina 
2005 SEA Games Best Male Athlete as the flag bearer. In the same year, 2008, the House of Representatives of the Philippines issued a resolution recognising Manny as the people's champion for his achievements and in appreciation for the honour and inspiration he had given to the Filipino people. Manny is the first Filipino boxer and athlete to appear on a postage stamp. He is featured in boxing video games including Fight Night Round 2, Fight Night Round 3 and Fight Night Round 4. There were plans to do a feature film about Manny's life in Hollywood. In 2009, Manny was included in Time magazine's list of the world's most influential people. In 2010, a 10-foot bronze statue of Manny was unveiled at the SM Mall of Asia. It stands alongside 8-foot bronze statues of a nurse, a farmer, a teacher and a construction worker. A fitting tribute to hard-working Filipino men and women. At the time of making this video, Manny is still the welterweight world champion after his stunning victory over Keith Thurman in 2019. In summary, Manny Pacquiao is an inspiration to the Philippines. He is a hero to the nation. He gives hope and joy to the people. He is the Pac-Man. <laughs>